you're experiencing any type of health condition, especially one that involves pain, then I'd like to spend just a couple of minutes to talk to you about something I think you should be aware of for two reasons. Number one, it's likely related to what you're experiencing. Uh, not so much uh, the cause of it, but the reason why you still have it and why it's at the level that it is in right now that you're experiencing. And number two, the possibility that it can help you uh, recover or improve your condition if you use it. And what I'm talking about is electromagnetic fields. Now, every life form that was born on this planet that came into existence on planet Earth was immediately exposed to Earth's magnetic field. That's why a magnetic compass works when you're on Earth. Now, all the cells, tissues, and organs in your body uh, have myriad functions that rely on tiny electrical charges in order for them to carry out their critical functions. An electrical generator works by spinning wire coils within a magnetic field. When that happens, tiny electrical charges manifest and they form a flow of electricity. Now, your body works very similarly. For example, your heart. We all know your heart is, a, is an organ, it's a muscle that uh, works by electrical currents that contract various chambers in a proper sequence so that it can pump blood throughout your body. As a matter of fact, if you took the heart out of your body, it could still work because of those electrical signals. And uh, your nerves. Your nerves work by the flow of tiny charges, sodium and potassium, that generate what's called an action potential that eventually gets to the target tissue, it zaps it, and makes it do something. Muscle contraction requires the flow of tiny charged particles, sodium, potassium, calcium, you know, in order for it to work. Your immune system, uh, the numerous processes occur when your body fights an invasive uh, microorganism. You've got the mobilization of cells, lymphocytes, monocytes, they communicate with each other via chemical signals that involve tiny electrical charges. Wound healing, whenever you injure yourself, there's a number of things that happen. Inflammation occurs, which involves the, uh, the appearance, the assembly of, of various factors that involve blood clotting and tissue repair. You've got cells that migrate to the area, your monocytes that clear the debris and fibroblasts that secrete the collagen. All these processes require the movement of tiny electrical charges for these things to occur. We're living in the modern world, we've got uh, electronics all around us, we've got laptops, we've got cell phones, there's Wi-Fi, there's uh, Bluetooth signals, and, and so forth. Now, I'm not saying to be scared of this. I'm not saying that it's causing things like cancer or diseases, but doesn't it make sense that if you have tiny electrical charges moving within your body that your body systems depend on to work properly and tiny magnetic fields that are produced, wouldn't it make sense that any external electromagnetic field that passes through your body can, can influence those processes. Well, the science shows that it can and that it could be encumbering your body's ability to heal itself. Now, there's a technology that has been around for quite some time. It's called pulsed EMF or pulsed electromagnetic therapy. And what it is, it's, it's the purposeful generation of electromagnetic fields. And there's a lot of research that's being done that shows the efficacy or the effectiveness of using pulsed EMF on a variety of health conditions. Now you don't have to take my word for it. Go to Google and search for PubMed. This is the website open to the public where you can go in and look through the various uh, research studies that have been done on pulsed EMF. Just do a search for it and a number of studies will pop up and you can see for yourself that there are some definite health benefits to using this technology. Now I know that was a lot of stuff, but just to recap, the main points, number one, 
Your body relies on tiny electrical charges, the movement of tiny electrical charges, in order for it to carry out its functions. And whenever you have tiny electrical charges in motion, they generate small electromagnetic fields. Number two, the world we live in is full of electromagnetic fields, such as from our electronics, our mobile phones, and Wi-Fi and so on that can influence your body's natural flow of electrical charges and magnetic fields, thus interfering with its ability to work properly. And number three, there are pulsed EMF devices on the market that can be used to help stabilize any disruption or inefficiency in electrical charges and 